Welcome back. Super excited. We're going to move forward. And in this lecture, I'm going to demonstrate how to export your layers. So, or in fact, export in general, right? So if you have maybe three screens or 10 screens, you can start to export as PNG images, JPEG and SVG. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and first navigate to my design tab on the right side. And notice on the bottom here, one of the last sections here, it says export. And I can click on the plus sign next to export, and that determines what I would like to export. I could select a screen first. For example, if I select the iPhone 8 frame first, scroll down to the export, I have the ability to export as twice the size one and a half times three four and so on or the actual width or the height as well so i'm going to say twice the size and as png jpeg or svg i'm going to keep selecting or have png and then i can click on export iphone 8 which is actually this particular splash screen i could export multiple screens so hold down the control key on the keyboard and select all of the screens on the bottom notice now it says export three layers i can take a look at the preview as well and can show me the preview of all of these three mini screens so if i click on export three layers it simply brings up the windows explorer for me and i can create a new folder here quickly i'm going to call it my export and then click save and this is going to export the three layers as PNG format and this has successfully exported in PNG format all of my three layers similarly I could actually just highlight any one of these and export just this particular iOS nav one ratio one area right or just the back button for example or the home button and so on so it depends on what exactly it is that I like to export so for instance if I like to export just the this container iOS container to the entire container or maybe just this particular card of the vintage card so I would just select this part click on export and it shows me the preview that this is the only card that is going to be exported click on export and then it defaults the name as category I can change the name if I choose to and click save before I click save notice my previous export that I did for the all the three layers three screens are here and then click save and this should save the card as well and this is helpful because I could then use these images give it to my developers or place them on my web server as I'm developing the app or the blog or website so I quickly wanted to demonstrate the wonderful feature of Figma that is the export so I hope this helps practice and let's move to the next lesson.